Hey guys, I brought another Pinterest algorithm question for you guys. This algorithm question was so popular at Pinterest that three interviewers asked me the exact same questions. And I had to let them know that I had this question with the first interviewer. So make sure you learn how to solve this question before your next interview. Like other videos, let me start by introducing you the invitation email that I received. This is the email I received for my remote on-site interview at Pinterest. So in the last video, I went over the system design interview round. In this video, we'll go over the first practical data and algorithm interview round I had with Pinterest. Here's the question. The short name for this interview was Alien Dictionary. The longer version is, given a list of non-empty words from the dictionary, where the words are sorted lexicographically by the rules of the alien language, derive the order of letters in this language. Here's a quick example. Given the list of words, a, C, A, B, and C, we need to compare them and find the lexicographical order by the rules of the alien language. In this case, one valid order is A, C, B. So A comes before C and C comes before B. Now pause the video and try it yourself. Give up to 45 minutes to complete the question. You can only learn by doing it yourself. If you haven't fully understood the question yet, Watch the examples I'll go over in a sec, then try to solve the question again. Yeah, let's start with the most uh, straightforward example. So given the following words, we need to derive order and find the lexiographical order. And here, we can look at the first letter, A, A, and B. And by looking at these letters, we can know that A needs to come before B. And by looking at these two, we can compare B and C and say B comes before C as well. And looking at these two orders, we can derive A comes before B and B comes before C. So this is the lexicographical order for this given list of words. Let's see what are the orders we can derive in this example. We can't derive any order from the first letter because they are the same. However, we can derive an order from the second letters because they have the same previous letter, A, and they're different. We know B should come before C. However, we do not know anything about the order of A relative to the other letters. So in this case, we can actually place the letter A anywhere. So we can have multiple valid orders. For instance, we can have A, B, C, or we can have B, C, A, or we can also have B, A, C. Let's see what are the orders we can derive for this example. By looking at the first letters, A, I mean C, A, B, we can derive she should come before A and A should come before B. By looking at the second letters, B and C, we can derive that B should come before C. If we put all these together, we get a cyclic graph. It doesn't really make sense for orders to have a cycle. So in this case, if you find a cycle within a graph that we construct, we throw an exception. From the observation we made in the previous example, let's try to put things together into an algorithm. During the actual interview, I was not able to come up with a brute force approach that's easy and straightforward to come up with in the beginning. So I spent time breaking down the question into multiple pieces and came up with the following approach. First, we generate order edges from the given list of words. This is pretty much the same iteration as what we manually did with each example before. Secondly, we construct a graph with the edges we derived in the previous step. Then lastly, we use the topological sort algorithm to find the order. I'll further explain individual step with this example in the next few slides. The first step is to generate the order edges. As we did in the previous example, we'll look at the letters at each index and try to derive orders. So we'll start by looking at the first index letter, second index letter, and the third index letters. When we compare the letters, we need to make sure that the previous letters are the same. To ensure this, 
will group words that have the same previous letters at each iteration. So let's go through this example. At index zero, we can pretty much compare all of them, right? And by looking at the first letter, we can get one order, which is A should come before B. At index one, this is where things get interesting. So there are A and B. So we are looking at the second index letter. So we need to group words that have the same previous letter. So these three words will be grouped together and this will be by itself. And another group will be B and F, okay? And this one is by itself, so we cannot really derive any order out of it. But from here, by looking at this second letter, we can derive one order, which is B should come before C, all right? And we iterate the same thing at index equals two. So now this is done, but we need to work with this. So C and C, they're the same. So these two words get into the same group and this will be alone. A, B and A, C, E, A, C, D. Similarly, this one, we only have one word in this group, so we cannot derive any order. But from here, we can compare E and D and get another order. So from this exercise, we got this order edge, this order edge, and this order edge. The second step is to construct a graph with the order edges we generated in the previous step. This step is quite simple. So with these edges, we just construct a graph by just connecting them. So A should come before B, and B should come before C, and E is a new node. So start here, E should come before D. This is it. The final step is to use the topological sort algorithm to find the order. To use the topological sort, we'll use a stack and a set. A hash set will be used to keep track of the visited nodes, and stack will be used to keep track of the order. And we'll visit each node and run that first search, and use the post order traversal to visit every node. For this algorithm, it doesn't really matter where we start. So I'll start with the letter A. Let's, first, let's draw the graph here, bigger. All right, so we're gonna start with the node A, mark it as visited, and go to the next node, B, um, and mark it as visited. It's a post-order traversal, so before you execute on the current node, you need to visit all the children and then do whatever you want to do on the on the current node. Okay, so we're on B, and it goes to the children. Now it's a C. Mark that I visited, and C doesn't have any children, so it's gonna put itself into the stack. All right. When C returns, B has visited all the children. So B will put it in the stack. Same thing for A, it has visited all the children, so it will put itself on the stack. And we're iterating through all the, all the vertices. So we did A, we just did A, and now we go to B. But B has been visited, so we skip. Same thing for C, we skip. And E, we, hasn't, we haven't visited yet. So we do the same algorithm on the node E visit all the children first, so we go to D. So before that, and mark yourself as visited. And when you get to D, you also mark yourself as visited. And D doesn't have any children, so put itself on the stack, return, and on the node E, it has visited all the children, so put itself on the stack. All right, once we explored all the vertices with the same algorithm, what we do at the end is just pulling all the letters from the stack step by step. So it will be E, D, 
A, B, C. And we got the order. So A, B, C is from this portion, and E, D is from this portion. And these two groups do not have any orders. We, we don't know the orders between these two groups, so it doesn't matter where they are. This is just one example of a valid order. All right, um, let's try to put all this into code now. For this video, I actually coded everything before I started recording because the code is pretty long and I wanted to spend most of my time explaining things rather than typing. All right, let's start by looking at the function signature. This is the main method. It's called find alien order. It returns a string and accepts a list of string as an input argument. All right, and for this exercise, I assume the given input is always valid. So we don't need to worry about the cycle issue that we discussed earlier. And uh, I declare two static classes, which is pretty typical for the graph algorithms. So vertex will contain a letter and list of edges or children. And for the edge, it contains a source and destination. And these are the helper method that makes the code more readable. Let's look at the body of this method. So I separate it into three different segments, similar to how I describe it in the whiteboard. First one is to generate order edges from the given list of words. It's using the recursions to do so. Start by looking at the letter, the first index, second index, third index, and so on. And with the generated edges, this is constructing a graph. It's called generative vertices. And you can notice that I'm also passing in the list of words that are received as an input argument because there it is possible to have vertices without any edges then those vertices will not be included in this order edges so we, in order to catch those cases i am also passing in the list of words here as well and once i construct a graph i use the topological sort algorithm to get the alien letters in lexicographical order all right and this is also using a recursion and a stack and a hit uh, hash side. All right, let's start by looking at this helper method. So this is using a recursion. So first the base case is if the given list of words is null or its size is less than or equal to one, then just return an empty list. So if we have only one word in, a, in, in the group, we cannot derive any order. That's why we return in this case. Otherwise, we attempt to derive order. So we go through the list of words within a group. If the current word is shorter than the given index, we skip. Otherwise, um, if the current letter that we retrieved and the previous letter, if they're different and not null, that it means we found an order, right? So we include it in the edges we declared earlier right here. And then we set the new previous letter, all right? So this logic, this entire logic is coming up with orders by looking at the current index letter, all right? And next thing we need to do is we need to group words by the letter at the current index. This is for the next iteration. So when we first, we look at the first index letter. And when we look at the second index letter, we need to group words that have the same first letter and then run the same algorithm. This is the code to do so. So first we do some filtering and then we're collecting it. We're grouping it by the chart at the current index, all right? And then what we do is we run the recursive logic here. So we call the generated edges with each word group that we grouped right here with the index plus one. All right, then we return edges. Let's look at the constructing graph part, generated vertices. So this is pretty straightforward because this is just iterating through the vertices, uh, iterating through the edges, and then constructing a vertex for each letter. So here we either create a vertex or we get it from if there's an already existing vertex within a map, then we just get it and add the edge 
and then uh, put it in the map again. And this is the part that I mentioned earlier, the reason why we included the list of words argument right here. It's because there, there can be vertices without any edges. So we go through all the letters within the list of words and make sure we create a vertex without any edges and include it in the, uh, the map of vertices above. All right, so that's good. And then finally, the most interesting part of the algorithm, topological sort. Um, here, as I mentioned in the whiteboard, we're using a stack and a set. So stack is to keep track of character order to print. And then set is used to keep track of the visitor vertices. So here, we're traversing the entire graph in post order. So we're, so each vert vertex, we start the post order traversal. And once this traversal is done on all vertices, then the stack should be filled with all the letters in order, in a lexicographical order we want. Then we use the string builder. Uh, we pop each letter from the stack and append it to the string builder. And we simply turn it into a string and return it. All right. And finally, let's look at how this part is implemented. So if the current letter is visited already, if, if the node we're trying to uh, run the traversal is visited already, we just return. Otherwise, we marked the current node or vertex as visited. And then you visit all the children recursively first, and then add the current node or vertex to the stack. All right, and that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you to prepare for your next technical interview. If you have any questions, suggestions, or alternative approaches, please comment below. I'll be excited to follow up.